Everyone knows that exercise is good for, for, for most people actually, but for people with diabetes it's extra, extra important. For many years when I had diabetes, I didn't really take it seriously, the exercise. I did some exercise, but I didn't plan. I didn't think about it as a part of my life with diabetes. And I think that is really important. When you get into exercise and you have a disease such as diabetes where everything needs to be measured when it comes to your sugar, your food, and your daily living, you also have to consider how you place your exercise in that overall routine. And what I've discovered is that I need to do different kinds of exercises. I've talked about previously how I walk every day. I just walk and gently walk. It's a nice cardiovascular exercise, but it doesn't really bring my heart rate up that much and it doesn't build muscle. And building muscle is something that is very important because if you do muscle training, that sustains you through the day. It actually continues to burn during the day and it will make you healthier. I'm sitting here in a gym now. This is a, a specialized gym that I absolutely adore. I go here two to three times a week. It's called Punch Fitness. The concept is pretty simple. It's a concept that involves a boxing, kickboxing. I think that the punching in itself is good for people who have some sort of adversity in their lives. And I think that we all do in some sense. For me, with diabetes or with any kind of disease, you have something that you're angry at. Even if we are accommodating, even if we're accepting our uh, destiny and we know that we have a disease, everyone has some problem, we still sometimes are really, really angry at that disease. I have to say, after an hour of working out here, I feel better in every way. It's not just my physical being, but it's my mental being. An hour of workout here involves not just hitting a ball or hitting the trainer uh, as a, a boxer, but it is really a CrossFit exercise, which I think is the optimal exercise. It's a little bit of cardiovascular, it's going on the treadmill, it's going on uh, uh, the bike, it's running or jumping rope. And then it involves squats, it involves uh, lifting, very uh, light lifting, more repeated lifting, so that you get the lean muscles, you get uh, nice looking muscles and it's not just pure bodybuilding. The goal really for any exercise that you're doing is to get your heart rate up. Because when you get your heart rate up, your heart also exercises. When you think about it, if you exercise your, your muscles, that's one thing. But if you start exercising your heart, that heart can pump more blood out to your muscles and they become more efficient. You want to look good and you want to feel good, you want to feel strong. There's not, not much purpose in losing weight, but being weak. So I think the exercise combined with a very good diet, very, very good ways of getting in shape for a person with diabetes or a person without diabetes.